female Eurasian teal. All right, we got a lot of bird calls coming in now. Let's get into the blind. Just kind of wanted to show how how quickly you know these birds will come in when you do this. I just teleported down to my tent, which is you know back that way. And look at this. I just got into my my blind, and this is how many birds are already around us. Absolutely crazy. Um, highly recommended this spot for bird hunting, you know, fowl hunting. Lots, lots of, lots of waterfowl. That's all I can really say. We're gonna let them fly around for a bit. I'm gonna try to spot all of them. I don't think so far that there's anything crazy above us. We'll see. Especially when there's more coming in every second. Hello. Female golden eye just flew right overhead. That's a male golden eye. That might be the biggest one, that golden eye that we just spotted. No. I'm trying to get a good look at them as well to make sure I'm not missing any uh rare plumage types, but I don't think I am. They all seem to be uh, pretty normal. Hi. Spot seems to be as good as ever, uh, as far as waterfowl coming in. You coming back? Oh, okay. I was about to say, like, uh, you, you, uh, not so smart. Me, also not so smart, because I can't speak properly. There's a female tufted duck. Female golden eye. And male golden eye. So we did get, we did get a male. It's not a very big one. I'm gonna chill here for a little bit. So I'm gonna go down. We'll do some night waterfowl hunting. I don't know how smart that is, but we're gonna do it, and we'll see if we uh, see if we get anything here today. We got a big group of golden eye coming in here. Thousand one scoring. Thousand twenty six scoring female. Once again, though, not really looking like much. That 352 Eurasian teal is probably the best of, of, of the bunch. 345 teal. I'm going to focus on the teal, I think, once they land. Because nothing else seems to be very big. But once again, you know, less, not even a minute, really, after that last uh, bout we just had. Or batch, maybe is the word. We've already got all these more flying overhead. That one, literally overhead. Where do those teal go? I'm supposed to keep an eye on them. Usually the teal land further away, from what I remember. Yeah, and that still seems to be the case. 346 scoring mail out there. Yeah, they're very far away. Maybe I need to move the teal decoys closer in. Yeah, no problem, sir. Let's see, where was the bigger one, though? They sort of come in, so I'm gonna give it a minute to see if they get any closer before I really do anything. Tough to duck. That one is the bigger one. This might not be the smartest idea, but we're just gonna put some lead down range like that and hope we hit him. Although, hey, we hit we hit at least one bird. Didn't really expect that. We'll see if we got another one. We'll see if we got the one I was aiming for, at least. That was the highest estimate over there, the 352, I wanna say. 
We definitely hit something. Again, I just don't know if it was the one that we were aiming for. I think this is actually the first one we were aiming for. Yeah, at, at the yeah. Still below diamond. It was 354. Couldn't remember. I thought it was 345 for a moment. Definitely 354. Still a nice score in uh, yeah. bird there. And we hit another one that is flying away. Which finding might be a struggle. And look at that. Like just after we had that you know, shooting bout, it was already more birds flying in. And those ones seem to have just spawned overhead. That was a little terrifying, not gonna lie. Hello? Hello. There there he is. Oh my goodness. Okay. So I'm very excited to see this. Uh last night I hopped on the hunter to play a little bit, and I decided to hop on to Revon Tuli uh here. Because I had a comment on one of my last videos. <clears throat> it's not really one of my last videos. One of my more popular videos um, from you know, uh, fowl hunting on Revontuli Coast. Down in, in this area right here. Someone wanted to know where it was on the map that I was doing my hunting on there. So I hopped on just so I could get the proper uh, answer for the... And while I, I decided while I was on here, I was traveling around. And... Um, Kind of placing some tents at some of the lakes up here. And flying overhead, I saw this level 5 Mingus, wherever he's at. I should probably keep a better eye on him so I don't lose him. Right there. Um, which I thought was crazy. And I'm very happy that I found... Did he just take that hit? Yes. Don't do that. Yeah, that really confused me. He didn't go down instantly. I was like, what? I don't care if I miss every other shot. I hit the level 5. He went down. That's the important thing. Um, but yeah, I was pretty sure I knew how you know, spawns work. So it's in this area. I figured it would be back. So I placed some, some spawn... Not some spawners. Some decoys down. Jeez, there we go. And just kind of decided to sit here and wait today when I had some more time to actually uh, hunt. And... Lo and behold, not even five minutes into waiting, here he is. First level five bean goose I've ever seen. Um, high hopes here, let's see. And he does make diamond. 3.3 scoring. Uh, needs to be 3.16 to make diamond, so definitely made it by a pretty good margin as well. Maybe a screenshot of that so we don't lose it. And before I forget, we are going to taxidermize that. Because uh, I have been known to mess that up. Uh, I thought he was about to fly away. Like I said, that shot still did most of the work, but he didn't die, go down instantly, which is what confused me. And the second shot did come in at about 74 meters. Awesome. Maybe I wasn't zeroed properly. I didn't pay attention to that. Uh, that's okay. Um, I've been so... Well, one, I haven't been playing as much recently, which kind of sucks. Work's been busy, and you know, personal life has been kind of... Uh, not great either, so I haven't been doing much, unfortunately, as far as gaming and, and recording content goes, so. And then, past that, I've really only been, on the Hunter at least, I've really only been playing um, on the New England Mountains and hunting moose, just to see if we can get that great one to spawn, so really glad that my return to uh, another map, uh, you know, provided us with this, so. Got another diamond. It's been a while since we've got a diamond, so. I think this is this is actually my first diamond of the new year, which is pretty crazy to think about. So that's happy to happy thought. Is it, wait, is it the first diamond of the new year? What? When did I do my last? I'm pretty sure it is. I, I've gotten trolled a bunch, so yeah, this is probably my first. Crazy. Um, we we're gonna have to go put that in the lodge, but I'm, I'm curious to know if there's anything else waiting out here. Um, Revan Tilly Coast for us. So I guess we're gonna explore that for a bit before, uh, before going to the lodge. And here is where I've decided on our placement for our Diamond Tundra Bean Grooves here. It is the brown plumage type. I don't think I mentioned that, uh, when I shot it. But this is where we're gonna go with it, kind of right in the entrance area. Uh, got some nice bangers here with the, um, 
you know, albino and melanistic plains bison, diamond plains bison, and now we've got diamond tundra bean goose to add to that uh, collection. So waterfowl hunting wasn't super super productive, didn't get a lot out of it, unfortunately. Um, but you know that's just how it is sometimes. We still got got a lot of hunting in, just uh, no trophies out of it. But that's all right. I'm still gonna go back to it uh, probably hopefully very soon. And maybe there'll be something else uh, out there for us when that happens. Um, but with this diamond here, that brings for all of the you know bird species that are on uh, Ravantuli Coast, I now need trophies of the ptarmigan species, both of them, the gray lag goose, and the uh, tufted duck, and the Eurasian widgeon, the widgeon as well. Yeah. So. So we're getting there for, for bird species as far as they go. Um, I don't have a, a really good setup for hunting gray lags, so I gotta get that set up. I do have a pretty good widget in setup. Uh, it can definitely be improved upon though, so I'll probably be doing that. Uh, and then as far as tarming and go, well, uh, I'm just gonna have to get better luck, I guess, or uh, be a little more persistent in my hunts. Um, but that's all for today. So I know it's been a while. Um, I haven't been posting frequently. Um, just a, a bad combination of things that's been going on. I'm not really going to get into it right now. But um, thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, I appreciate you oh so much. And you're now leaving the danger zone. So stay safe out there, and I hope to catch you back here next time. Bye now.